Hey guys, this is Xavier with Notebooks.com. I'm here with Kevin Wenzel at IDF 2009 at the HP booth, and we're taking a look at the HP NV15. It's their new flagship notebook. It's a pretty powerful device, and it weighs only about five pounds, correct? Let's take a closer look at this thing. Yeah, this is our new NV15. The, as you know, the NV is our premium consumer notebook line. Some of the really cool things about it, it's an all-metal case, and this is, a, this is a magnesium alloy case. We've got a laser-etched pattern on the case, and the machine is only one inch thick. So thick, e very easy to carry around, and 5.2 pounds uh, as far as the weight goes. Display is 15 inches, and, and the standard display is a 1920 by uh, 1080 display. So full HD display on this machine, plus it's 300 nits, so, so about one and a half times as bright as a standard notebook display. We've got kind of an understated elegant design as far as the palm rest area goes around the keyboard. Minimal number of buttons or anything like that. And actually, even, even on the buttons, like on the wireless button here, the LEDs on them are toned down a bit. So if you're in a darker room or something like that, uh, they, don't, they don't get really bright, they don't shine out at you. We've got a full-size keyboard, and it is an island-style island keyboard. And our click pad is a one-piece click pad. It's a glass click pad. You can use it uh, to move the mouse. The buttons are down at the bottom, but they aren't separate buttons. Uh, it also supports gestures, so you can use things like a rotate gesture or a zoom gesture, uh, the two-finger scroll, or any of those kinds of things. But kind of the, the really big message behind the NV15 is performance. And for that, uh, you could take this video you're working on and take it up on an NV15, and I, I suspect you'd find editing video, rendering, all of that uh, would be a really great experience on this machine. We're using the new Intel Core i7 quad-core processor. Uh, the, NV, the NV15 has up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the hard drive options are pretty interesting. You can put a single 500 gig hard drive in it. You can put it, two SSD drives in it and, and configure them RAID 0 for maximum performance. Or if you want, to, want something in between, you can put a combination of a, an SSD and a rotating drive. And that's a pretty cool combination. SSD is your system drive, rotating drive for, for more data storage. So if I, if I, one of, some of the things I can do with this, I'm running Cinebench on it right now. And if you watch things like Cinebench performance on a 3D animation, notice very fast, very smooth. Uh, no issues at all as far as, uh, as showing off this animation. And of course you get that same kind of performance on things like games. We're using an ATI 4830 graphics card with a gigabyte of graphics RAM. And then the other thing about it, of course, is with the core, with the core i7 quad-core processor, which is hyper-threaded, the machine actually thinks it has eight processor cores. So if I start running this 3D rendering operation, you'll notice it actually slices the, the activity up into eight pieces and assigns each of them to a separate core. And that makes it, that makes it go through this operation very, very quickly. So as I said, if you're, if you're doing your video editing, publishing video, doing photo editing, anything like that, this is the machine you gotta have for it.